First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity, Bahashim Rokak Wadash. Okay, and um, as of late, if you haven't heard, you know, the newest doctrine out is after a thousand years, we are going to die. Okay, we're going to be translated. You know, and um, Sakari is coming out with this doctrine. You know, trying to be profound and whatnot. But, um, you know, the scriptures speak about eternal life. Okay. And, you know, like brothers have been doing videos on this already. You know, you got to ask yourself, like, why? Why would we go through all this hell? You know, why would we be cast into these chains of darkness only to get a thousand years of immortality and then die? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. The scriptures don't say that. This is John 5 and 39. It says, search the scriptures for in them ye think ye have eternal life and they are they which testify of me. So you have to search the scriptures, okay? You know, be as the Bereans, you know, to see if those things are true. For in them, ye think ye have eternal life, right? Why Why are you in the truth? You know, what? what's, what's your goal, you know? Well, you know, most would say, you know, for salvation, to escape destruction, to get the truth put on our inward parts. Okay. And last but definitely not least is to have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. Did not Yahweh Shai rise from the dead? You know, I was just pondering before I turned the video on. You know, the scriptures say that he is the father of spirits, right? But in Wisdom of Solomon, it says that his incorruptible spirit is in all things. Okay, so if if his incorruptible spirit is in all things and he's the father of spirits then you know ultimately we can't die either you know you, you don't you don't you don't die you're just asleep so to speak people that have passed they they're they're in the spirit world man okay they're they're far from dead they're very much alive okay but in this plane of existence they've been taken okay but they're alive you see, and these are the things that Yahweh Shai said was going to happen. He t he told the disciples, "I should be persecuted, and on the third, you know, I should be you know put to death and and and, and be risen on the third day." Okay, well, you read these scriptures, man. You know, that you, you know, hey, if you endure to the end, you're gonna get eternal life. And that's pretty much that, that's that's the goal. G one sixty six, Ionios. Ionios. You know, people talk about goals. That's the goals. That's that's hashtag goals, right? Without beginning an an end. Without beginning an end. So like that which always has been and always will be, without beginning, without end, never to cease everlasting. Okay? Let's get this let's look at the strongest definition. What does it say? Perpetual. Okay. Eternal. Forever, everlasting world began. Forever, forever. You see, forever, man. You know, uh, the Lord promised that we would live forever if we if we overcame, man. It reminds me of this dude. Uh, what's his name? On the sand lot. You know, the dude that said, uh, uh, you're killing me, Smalls, right? What did, what did he say? He said forever, <laughs> you know? So what, what, are, what are you guys talking about, man? You know? 
You you know, man, you guys are ham. <laughs> that dude, what was it, ham? <laughs> that dude have. What did he say? He said forever. That's eternal life, man. So, you know, obviously y'all ain't searching the scriptures. Yeah, they testify Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai rose from the dead. He cheated death. This is John 3 and 15. That whoso believe, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have life eternal. But have eternal life, Salakia. Right? You believe in Yahweh Shai unto the death? Then you're going to have eternal life, man. Forever. You're going to live forever, man. For the Most High so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Right? The Most High was pleased, okay, with, 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 you know, his only begotten son to come into the world and give his life for the election, okay, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And if you believe in Yahweh Shai, you're going to do what Yahweh Shai asked. You're going to follow the commandments to the best of your ability. You're going to make yourself, you make your body a living sacrifice and you will not perish whether you live or whether you die you live or you die to Yahweh Bashim Shai and then you will have everlasting life okay so what are you guys talking about this is John 10 and 28 and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand so if you're part of the elect you know you're not going to fall. You're not going to fall, okay, in this truth. You know, no man can pluck you out of out of the out of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's, um, you know, plan of salvation. Okay, you're going to endure to the end. No man can take you out. You're not going to be uh, seduced by any man or any doctrine or nothing. First John 2 and 25. And this is the promise that he has promised us even eternal life. Okay. Even eternal life. Yep. Same thing. Forever. Okay. First Timothy, uh, First Timothy, uh, six and eleven. But thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. All right. Let's get this word lay hold. Strong's G, nineteen forty nine. Epilambanamai, Epilambanamai, Thayer's Lexicon, Epilambano, Epilambano. To take in addition, to lay hold of, take possession of, overtake, attain, attain to, to lay hold of, or to seize upon anything with the hands, to take hold of, lay hold of, metaphor to rescue one from peril, to help secure. Okay? It says to lay hold of or to seize upon anything with the hands. Okay. So you're supposed to, you know, take hold on to eternal life. You're supposed to fight for it. You know, not let it go. Hold on to it. You know. Attain to. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to, you're supposed to, you know, want to live uh, eternally. You know, there's not going to be no death in the kingdom, man. Whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. You see, you are right now. We, we, we've been called. Okay. It says, whereunto thou art also called. Right. So we've been called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Right. Many people have seen the brothers. Okay. And, and you know, basically become a spectacle into the world, and have taught this truth out on the highways, if not on YouTube, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Right? This is our job. We've been called to something, 
you know, a very high position, a very high calling. The scriptures say um, that we're no longer strangers, but citizens of the household of the Most High. You know? So, you're supposed to fight a good fight. You know, lay a hold upon eternal life. Read this word. You know, follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. These are the these are the, the attributes of the man of, of Yahweh Bashem Shai, not these wayward philosophies and, and especially not, you know, trying to be a rap star, okay? And spit a hot sixteen. That's what these cats be doing. I, I you know I've been who done let them Hebrews in the dough. What does that do? Who done let them Hebrews in the dough? What's that guy? Haka from the Sakari. I'll be making fun of that song. I, I just repeat that part over and over again. Hey, it's catchy. Don't you know? Don't get me wrong, but hey, you know, really, it, it's about the doctrine, man. You know, it's not about trying to mix the the, the truth with the with worldliness, man. You know, trying to be famous. You know. Trying to put out a, a, an album with fringes. All right. So it says. Titus. Let me start at one. Paul, a servant of the Most High and an apostle of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, according to the faith of the Most High's elect and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness. You see, the truth is after godliness, man. You know, you, you, you have to you have to search out Yahweh Shai to become godly. You know, it says in hope of eternal life, which the most high that cannot lie promised before the world began. See, Yahweh Bashem Shai, who cannot lie, promised eternal life before the world began. OK, before this story was played out, it was the Lord's, you know, plan. Okay, to, for for the elect to be created. Okay, to come down to the earth. Okay, and 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 be redeemed, and get eternal life. It says, but in, in let's see, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. The Lord is manifesting this word through preaching, which is committed unto me, according to the commandment of the Most High, our Savior. You see, the Lord is manifesting his word through what? Through, through preaching, through this, through, you know. Let's look up this word preaching real quick. Strong's G, 2782, Kerugma. Kerugma. Right, the Lord is manifesting his word through what? That which is proclaimed by a herald or a public crier, a proclamation by a herald, right? Going out to the highways and hedges. You're publicly heralding in, you know, you're ushering in the second coming of Yahweh Shai. You're rolling out the red carpet. In the New Testament, the message of proclamation of the heralds of the Most High or Mashiach. Okay, but the point is, okay, that the hope of eternal life, okay, was promised. The Lord, the Lord's, the Lord's not gonna, the Lord's not slack concerning his promises. He said that we would get eternal life. That's what he meant. Life everlasting. All right, forever. Like my man Ham on the Sandlot. Okay? So Lord willingness was edifying. I just wanted to bring this out. Shalom.